Well, I'm Nelson Diaz. And I'm officially announcing my candidacy for the mayor of Philadelphia. There's a lot of really good people running, so this is really, really hard. Pero por primera vez, we have a Puerto Rican. He's well known in the community. People love him. I'm looking for a mayor that has the best interests of the city, because the city is first and foremost, and I am a Philadelphian, right? But a lot of times as Latinos, we're invisible in this city. And even those that want to be the most friendly, and for the first time to have somebody that understands our community, and when they're looking at resources, that they can be more equitably distributed throughout the city. It's always been a problem for me in this country that I think um, diversity is nothing more, nothing less than math. You look at the math, you figure out who are the people in need and what percent they are, and that's the amount of effort you put into it. Punto. That doesn't happen. And so I expect, just like Tom Street did it, I expect Nelson Diaz will do the same thing. This is history in the making. Nelson Diaz was the first Boricua who got elected to the core of Commonwealth. There's always the powers that be that come and try to divide and conquer. I believe that they use some sort of a chess game, which is they send the little ones out there, and the main purpose is to divide the community. And then you can see all these fights. Instead of, you know, unity and uh, working for one cause, everybody starts to disperse, and then the enemy comes around. So tell me, what's going on? The uh, challenge, frankly, is that we want to make sure that people recognize the talent that we have in our community. And sometimes we have to recognize ourselves, the talent that we have in our community. Uh, it's not just deferring to others. We understand our issues, and we have the talent, I think, in our community. And that talent is growing. Uh, and one of the great things I see about Philadelphia is that we're becoming much more confident about our ability to lead. I think like 110,000 Latino registered voters, and like 85% of those are Puerto Ricans. Uh, that grouping of people alone cannot. If we turn out it at above 40%, I believe we have a very good chance of winning. That combined with African American votes, that combined with progressive votes in the city, that combines with, with other communities across the city, the LGBT community, the uh, African-American community and so on. The combination, but but I think I think one of us needs a very big turnout 